new Elko 20 horsepower motor and uh, when I put it in the water the other day bit of an issue uh, the water pump uh, does not work uh, so I was getting no stream of water coming out through here so uh, in talking with uh, Elko uh, they walked me through some repair instructions as I told them I was mechanically a bit mechanically uh, adept at doing this um, now you might ask well if it's under warranty and if it failed the very first time I put it in the water uh, why wouldn't I just take it back under warranty well uh, yes it uh, I could take it down and take it back under warranty but I'm responsible for all the shipping uh, since I'm in Canada to uh, ship it across the border and down to Elko um, that I estimate would cost me about 700 US uh, about 900 Canadian and then I have to have it shipped back they were good enough to walk me through uh, you know some tests and uh, I'm going to now um, take the bottom section off the bottom housing and it's only held with four bolts so that's what I'm going to be doing so now. I'm on the fourth bolt now and uh, should be able to drop the housing after I take this bolt out so one of the first things I uh, had to do uh, for checking for any blockages was to disconnect this hose blow through this hose and I should be able to blow through it freely and uh, that would check for blockages um, so I'm going to repeat that test now that I have the lower housing off and uh, see if I could feel any air coming out of uh, the tube the water tube that uh, comes down that's going to be the next thing I try so after blowing down through the tube I did get water coming out through the uh, the bottom so this tells me the tube is uh, clear and since there was water up in here that means it has to be at least getting up to this point so I'm not sure where the blockage is um, I don't think it's in the impeller I'm before I take that all apart I think I would like to put the impeller back or, or the lower housing back try running it with uh, the water muffs on but have this hose disconnected and uh, I'm thinking that the water should pump right up through here because here is coming up from the tube down at the bottom and it comes right up into here and so yeah I should get water coming out of there all right I think I'll uh, I'll try that so I got the water muffs on and uh, motor turning and I don't know if you can see that little hose I have sticking out from underneath the garbage bag Right there and I would expect water to be shooting out of that and I'm not getting anything so uh, I'll go back and take the lower housing off again and uh, take a look at the impeller so I've taken the four bolts out and now I'm just going to be lifting the housing very gently taking it out and there's the impeller inside looks okay to me hard to turn and then you know, I'll just pour some water down here to make sure that the water is flowing through Yeah, since she drains right out, no problem. So there's no blockages there. So I have the lower unit disconnected and the impeller 
uh, taken right off. And with the uh, water muffs on and the hose running, what I'm trying to show is that uh, water is not getting up to the impeller. So if that's the case, then uh, it never gets primed. And if it doesn't get primed, it's just an airlock in there and it'll just keep spinning. So what I think is the problem is the whole unit is not down uh, in the water enough. So the water line right now uh, comes to about here on my boat. Uh, thinking here's a cavitation plate and I think uh, I was thinking that oh two to three inches below the water level is great for the cavitation plate um, maybe it's just due to lack of experience but the water level really should have been at least here and uh, that would allow uh, it to uh, prime the impeller and uh, that should be uh, sufficient so that's what I'm going to try and uh, prove next. I'm going to put things back together uh, and uh, and uh, try and find a barrel uh, and do a water test in a barrel. All right, I'm about to put things back together. I'm going to just add a little bit of white lithium grease just inside here just to give it a bit of a lubrication because that's very resistive to turn. I imagine once it gets going and you get water and slime in the water or you get water coming through uh, that will uh, turn much easier but for now it's uh, very very resistive. I'm just going to put a little dab in it. Dab. Oh, that's that's a lot easier. Okay, all right, time to reassemble. So this. I have to make sure that the there's a little key slot in the impeller that has to line up with the key on the shaft and. Uh, then these pins here will align with the housing. Okay. There. And there we go. Turns a lot easier with the uh, a little bit of lithium grease on there. The impeller housing is back in place and uh, now I'm ready to uh, put this back on the motor. I have to make sure that uh, the water tube that comes down the shaft, the water tube that comes down the uh, main housing lines up with this rubber connection point. Time to take my coat off. The rain has stopped and the sun has come out. Alright, here we go. Well, I thought that was a plausible idea why it wasn't working. I have the water level up above uh, where the impeller intake would be and still nothing's coming out. That is strange. Well, I'm not done troubleshooting then. So I have my drill hooked up to the lower unit just to see if it pumps water. And it doesn't take very much effort to pump water. This is working fine. Uh, maybe I'll try lowering the water level also and try this same test just to see if my theory about the water level um, is correct. So with the water level down to where I have it, uh, where it's um, above the anti-cavitation plate, 
And now if I try to pump water, it doesn't work. Therefore, the water level does have to be above the lower unit in order for this uh, motor to pump water. So that would probably be my initial problem. Uh, so we know that the impeller uh, works fine. No issues there. It's just a matter of... Uh, uh, oh yeah, the other issue is when I blow in through the telltale tube, because it connects up to a little T-joint with this tube. And uh, it's like it's blocked. So, not quite sure what's going on there. So I might have to take that whole tube out and take a look at it. So I've removed the tubing. This is a telltale tube. And this is the one I was previously blowing through. And it was blowing through this hose, which goes somewhere, don't know where, uh, but it w I wasn't getting any air out through the telltale. So I removed it, pulled this right off, and blew in from this end, and there was some sort of a blockage in the telltale tube, and all of a sudden it, it just blew out. So now I could blow right through, no problem. So there definitely was a blockage in the telltale tube. Uh, so I'm going to put everything back and maybe, maybe the water was circulating, but because I didn't see it coming out the telltale tube, I thought it wasn't. Also, the uh, water level definitely has to be uh, up above the impeller level. So right up to the lower housing, that has to be underwater or that impeller will not work. Well, I'm filling up the water level again. This will be the last test of the day. <coughs> I've unblocked the telltale tube and uh, reinstalled everything. Um, if this doesn't work, then I don't know what uh, could be the problem. I was very careful in connecting that uh, the uh, vertical tube to that little rubber grommet. Uh, use a flashlight just to make sure I was perfectly aligned. So that could have been a problem earlier also, don't know. But definitely there was a blockage in the telltale tube. Success! Telltale tube is spitting out water. So two issues, the blockage and also uh, not high enough uh, water level um, in the first place. So I'm going to have to lower this motor. Anyways, everything is uh, fixed. All right, I've lowered the water level to above the anti-cavitation plate, but below the uh, junction of the lower unit. And as you can see, no telltale stream is coming out. Therefore, you need to have the water level up above this plate for the water pump to pump properly. So anyways, that's uh, a lesson learned by me. I'm, I'm a novice at, uh, at this, so hopefully this will help uh, other people. To uh, wrap things up um, with my Elko 20 horsepower motor, uh, three things to remember. One, you need to have your water line above the lower housing unit. Two, if you do have a water pump issue, if you're checking out uh, blowing through the hose inside like I sh I've shown, uh, you should be able to blow clearly through that. And uh, But don't forget to also blow through this hose. That's where I had my obstruction. And uh, don't forget that. Uh, the other thing, if you're troubleshooting, um, trying to use a pair of water muffs, um, I did not have success using these because they just would not hold uh, enough water pressure inside to build up. So be mindful of that. Um, perhaps you could get a smaller set. If you're going to use some water muffs, perhaps you could get a pair that will fit a little bit better. But just be mindful of that, that if you're trying to troubleshoot a, um, 
a water pump issue and you're using these, uh, they could trick you. It would be better to use a barrel. Anyways, that's it.